Hey, what's up guys? Codeforge here. Welcome in the next video. Today we'll learn how to access Spring context from non-Spring class. And to achieve that, we'll create a special util or bridge class which will allow us to access the context and retrieve beans. On the screen you can see the Spring initializer and also the basic setup of our project which we'll use today. We don't need any extra dependencies, so we can generate the project and start coding. Ok, so here we are, I have already opened the project in the IDE. We will start with creating configuration class, which will be Spring Managed Bean. So we go to the main package in the source main Java. And over here we want to create new package and we'll call it config and inside we want to create a new class which will be called app config let's make it bigger so it will be good and we'll start with adding configuration annotation at the top because it's the configuration class now we want to have a property which will be private and string and we'll call it greeting and now inside this property we want to inject the value from the application properties and we want to use the value annotation to do this and we have to provide the name of the property and it will be the same so it will be greeting we will also need getter for this property so we will access it later on and we'll generate one and now we can move on to the resources application properties file. Let's zoom in a little bit. And over here we want to define our greeting property. So we can basically copy it from the app config class and paste it over here. And now we can set the value to hello. Okay, so now we are ready to access our Springs Manage Bean called app config from our context and you will see how easy it is to access this bin from the context um, in the spring class and later on we'll try to access this bin from the context from the non-spring class so this is the difference so from the run method we'll receive the object which is called configurable application context so let's create a property or variable with the type configurable application context and the same name and let's assign it okay and over here uh, we want to use this property and call the get bin method to access the bin from the context we can do it by passing the bin class name so in our case it will be app config dot class and we also have to store it in the variable so we say app config with the same name and this is basically how you want to retrieve the bin from the spring context now we can display the greeting on the screen so first let's create a logger we can say private static final logger i made a typo we have to import it we will call it log and now using logger factory we can say get logger and provide spring context util application class and now at the bottom of the main method we can say log info and we can use our app config property which stores the reference to the app config object and we can get greeting now if we run the application we should get the greeting on the screen so let's go let's install it first so it will build the application and later on we will use the plugin spring boot run to start our application so the build is success now we can run it and we should get the greeting hello on the screen and it's over here we can see that application has been terminated instantly because we don't have the web dependency from the spring 
So you can see that retrieving the bin uh, from the Spring Manage class is quite easy. And now we'll create a non Spring class and we'll try to retrieve the bin from the uh, and use it in this non Spring class. So now let's say we we'll have a service and this service will be not managed by Spring and we'll create a package with the name service and we'll create new class inside and it will be mail service let's say okay so we have our mail service and it is not spring managed bin so we will not annotate it with the component annotation or service annotation and now let's say our mail service will have the property which will be the type of string and it will be called greeting and of course we'll have the getter and the constructor so we'll generate the constructor but it will be the empty constructor so we don't need this over here and also we'll need getter and now let's say we want to set this greeting with the value from our app config class which have access to the application properties and stores the value of the greeting and we cannot access it in the hell because it's not spring managed bin and it has no access to the context and to actually do it we have to create a special spring context util class so let's do it in our main package we want to create a util package and inside we want to create our new class which will be spring context util. First step is to annotate our new class with the component annotation. So we want to use component annotation. And the second step is to implement the application context aware interface. And now you can see that we are getting an error. This is because we have to override one of the methods that comes from this interface. And this method is called set application context. And this method will be called when the real context will be set and we will receive this context over here. So we can store it in our property of our Spring context util. And to do it, we'll create a property which will be private static. It is very important to make it static so we don't have to create an instance of this object and it will be application context and it will have the same name and now we can set this application context so we say spring context util application context with the context of the application which will come from the call of this method like this now we have to somehow expose this application context so other classes can access it and we can do it uh, in two ways uh, so the first one will be creating the method which will be public static and will return the application context and let's call it get application context and this one will simply return the application context so it will be application context so it will return our property from the spring util class the second way is pretty similar we will basically simulate the behavior of the getbin method we can see that it is um, returning the generic type and also accept the class generic t so we'll create something like this so let's go back over here and let's start typing so it will be public static now we have to define the generic type t and define that we will return the generic type and we'll call it also get bin and we'll accept the class which will be the generic type and it will be called bin and now we want to return and we want to access our application context and call the real get bin method and pass the bin like this you know what this bin parameter is not pretty accurate so let's change it to 
class name let's say now it's good and now we can use this spring context util class in our mail service so let's go over here and if you remember we wanted to initialize this greeting property with the value from the app config class and we had the problem that we don't have the access to the spring context and now we have so now we can simply say greeting and we can use this spring context util in the static way because all of the methods are static so we have this method static and this one is also static and uh, let's use the first one now so we will get the application context first so we'll say get application context and now we can simply say get bin and provide the name of the bin which we want to access and it will be app config dot class and now we can simply call get greeting and our and greeting property will be populated with the value from the app config class to test it out let's go back to our main class and over here we create new mail service instance so we say mail service new mail service and now we can log the greeting so we say log info and inside we'll use string format and it will be greeting from service we'll use placeholder and as the second argument we'll get greeting from the mail service and now if we run it we should see this text together with the greeting in the console so we can see that we have the greeting from service hello and this is basically how you want to access Spring context from the non Spring class. We can also use the second method, it will be a little bit cleaner. So we can just remove this thing from here. And now instead of calling the getBin method from the real context, we'll call the getBin method from our Spring context util, and it will be this one which basically does the same and uh, because it's calling also the get bin method but let's try it so we will already run our application and it should also work and it does okay guys so this is pretty much everything for this video i hope this short tutorial will be useful for you because I have already faced this problem of accessing beans from non spring class several times so I wanted to share with you and if you like it remember about hitting the subscribe button and liking the videos see you next time bye